If you're looking to buy small to team coins, then go check out cheaputcoins.com. All the links are down below in the description box. And use discount code of GC5 to get your 5 cent discount on all of your orders, guys. They are cheap, reliable, and also have an instant coin service, which will get you a coins in around 5 seconds. What's up guys, g here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we have got week 7 of my top 5 transfers of the week and apologies this has been delayed by a day but it's back at you now and uh, again if you can have 1,500 likes that would be absolutely awesome and in the comments below let me know what you think has been the best signing of the week. As we do then we're going to run through some players that only just missed out on the top 5 this week. First one is going to be Nicholas Bentner, Lord Bentner to Wolfsburg in Germany. Christian Atsu to Everton on loan and honestly he would have been in the top 5 but I have no idea how much game time he'll be getting. That is the only reason why. Victor Mos on loan to Stoke. Mar Says the video has signed for Schalke, which means he'll be back on FIFA uh, next year. And finally, Martin Kelly to Crystal Palace. And I also use your guys' opinions a lot for this top five transfers of the week, as I thought these ones are quite hard to actually put in a top five order. And I've done some uh, polls on Twitter and stuff. The very first player is going to be Gerard Delafeu. You will remember that he was actually on loan to Everton last season. He did return to Barcelona and they have loaned him back out uh, to Sevilla this time. And uh, like I said, it's only a loan deal. 29 games last season, four goals and five assists. And with Barcelona signing Rakitic, I'm not sure whether this one and the Den this uh, Suarez deal are actually part of it at all because they have loaned two players from Barcelona now and this, this guy is really, really exciting to watch. You may also notice the cheeky uh, official card design of FIFA 15 now that we are using. That's pretty damn sick. But yeah, on to number four. Number four then we have got Javi Garcia. The former Man City man has now signed for the Russian club Zenit St. Petersburg. Same club as uh, Hulk and some other big names. He signed for around £13 million and last season played 43 games. Didn't contribute with any goals or assists but he was a centre defensive mid. He can also play centre back and uh, in my opinion, I actually quite liked Javi Garcia, but it seemed they didn't really fit in too well uh, at Man City. And the other thing, he, he's very, very good. People don't realize the quality of him. He may not have shown it at Man City, but previously at Benfica, he was absolutely awesome. This transfer does confuse me slightly, though, as he is very good, but you don't really see many Spanish players go off to the Russian league. And uh, I don't know if it's money or not, because he was initially already at Man City. Taking the third spot this week then is going to be Shane Long. He signed for Southampton this week from Hull City for around £12 million, which in my opinion is slightly inflated. But as a Liverpool fan, I'm really not in the position to be talking about overpaying for players. Last season, 32 games, 7 goals and 3 assists. Throughout his career though, Shane Long has been kind of like criticised for not scoring enough goals uh, when he's actually been playing because last season, 7 goals isn't too bad. But 32 games, it's not really the ratio players like and teams expect to get out of their main striker. But I'm really looking forward to the combination he's going to have with, I think it's pronounced Pella, and uh, it's like kind of the big man, small man. And the other day in his debut for Southampton against Liverpool, he did actually miss a sitter. But overall, on the positive side of things, I really do think he'll actually shine at Southampton. And on to number two. Number two then brings us an exciting young talent. That is going to be DeAndre Yedlin. The 21-year-old actually signed from Seattle Sounders for just 2.5 million to uh, Tottenham Hotspur. But he has actually gone on loan uh, to back to Seattle. But I, I think it's actually till the 15-16 season next year year. So his FIFA 15 card won't actually be at Tottenham until probably the, the summer transfers. And last season, 18 games, one goal and three assists. But like I said, this guy's got a lot of promise about him. And he's also getting hyped up a hell of a lot. But with the fee just being 2.5 million, I think it is very good business from Tottenham as it's not a great risk to be taken. Number one this week then, we have got a new Liverpool signing. I know people will be like, Ross, you're biased, but this wasn't me that chose this year. I actually put a, a public poll out on Twitter and it came back that this was probably the best signing of the week. And that is going to be Alberto Moreno from Sevilla to Liverpool. And the reason that he is number one this week is because Liverpool, our fullbacks over the last couple of years have been absolutely shite. Glenn Johnson in particular is one of the most like infuriating players to see. Like, I watch him week in, week out. And if you're a Liverpool fan, you'll feel my pain. So I'm not the only one who thinks that Alberto Moreno is the best signing of the week. Uh, it cost us around uh, £12 million, which initially it was looking like it'd be like 20 But £12 million, fair play to Ian Air. He has actually got a really good bit of business done there. And this guy only did just miss out on the Spanish international team that got, went to the World Cup. Probably luckily they did, as they were eliminated very, very early on. And we have been linked with Alberto Moreno for absolutely ages. And just to prove my point, it was not me that chose him at number one this week. I will show you the poll right on the screen now. And uh, yeah, he is number one this week. But anyway, guys, let's go wrap up today's top five transfers of the week. Apologies, it was a day late. I did have some issues with it yesterday. If you know 1,500 likes again, that would be absolutely awesome. In the comments below, let me know what you think has been the best signing this week. And finally, for you to my channel, click the subscribe button as 15 is just around the corner guys so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time